Well, airlines around the world are cracking down on carry-on luggage size and weight, but it's still possible to travel with only a carry-on without breaking the rules. And to prove that to us is avid traveler and adventurer Mark Smith from 30 Day Adventures. Thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. You have some good tips for us. I'm very excited. Let's get started with, this is a carry-on size. Correct. This is legal for Air Canada, WestJet, okay. all the major airlines. What if I expanded it? Oh, don't do it. If if you have the ability to expand, yes. you're going to fill it. Uh, right. Then it won't fit in the overhead compartment, uh -huh. and then of course it will be taken off. You'll have to pay a baggage fee, mm -hmm. and then you'll have to wait for half an hour. So for know, people who least. overpack, probably a hard shell would be better. Absolutely, then there's no room for error. Right, and this is like the num This is like probably one of my top three tips out mm -hmm. of the ten because if you know what everything is going to fit in, yeah. that's the limit. Right. So you makes know, sense. Yeah. Now before you even start packing, you want to plan. What's your trip? Where are you going? What, what are you, you going to do? Doing? Are you going to be going to perhaps a costume party in Palm Springs like I will be? Wow. So I've got my glam little outfit rolled up and packed in there. I would yeah. bring that on every yeah. trip I went on. That's yeah. great. It's, it's a metallic onesie. It's kind of awesome. Of course it is, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got your onesie and we're... You know, you're going to be going out at night. You're going to be maybe enjoying right. the warm yeah. weather. So what you want to do is you want to plan what your activities are going to be. Then you map out your clothes and mm -hmm. you pick things right. that are going to double, you know, daytime, nighttime, casual, a right. little bit dressier. Right. Um, and then you, I lay all those out. You know, when I figure that out, then I'm like, mm, how much room do I have for toiletries? Right. So yes. this is actually, it's not very glamorous. I think I bought this at Shoppers or London Drive. This is real life. This is real life. Yeah, it's it dirty. You know, it's grimy and everything. But literally, if it doesn't fit in here, it doesn't go in the carry-on. And, and if I don't have room, because I've maybe packed an extra pair of shoes mm -hmm. for some of the ladies that want more than two pair, yeah. um, I, uh, I will not take toiletries because at the hotel that I'm staying at, they have everything. They have toothbrushes, toothpaste, yeah, and razors. they're getting better with the quality oh, of stuff. and it's too. all free, yeah. absolutely. Well, most of my toiletries, okay. most of my toiletries, I took from other hotels anyway. So I mean, I'm just gonna get them there <laughs> exactly. anyway. Yeah. Exactly. So let's let's pack. What are we right. doing here? Okay. What's the so style? I've, so I've got a pair of casual shorts that could also go a little dressy for dinner, mm -hmm. and then of course, you know, you want to roll them up. Mm -hmm. And then it just fits in there nice and snug. I've got a polo shirt, which again can be casual for. And they don't wrinkle that easily. No, this is a, this actually reduces the wrinkling tons. When you get to the hotel, you can open up. There's some pants, t-shirt, bathing and trunks. Again, I'm going to Palm Springs. Love the pop of color, Mark. Nice. Thank you. Hotels are going to have an iron, even if you get a little wrinkled on the way. You know. Well, exactly. And you know, when you're choosing the clothes that you're going to travel with, choose items that don't wrinkle very much. Like this is a great shirt that I bought. That really I have to struggle to wrinkle. Yeah. You know, these pants are Lululemon, super casual, but yep. can also dress up a little bit. I'll often even just wear a blazer on the plane just to, you know, you don't have to pack it. And yeah. hey, you might get bumped to first class. Who knows? Exactly. It hasn't happened yet. Well, and if you wear the bulkier items on your travel day, then they don't take up room in your More luggage room, as right. well. Okay, I'm, I'm a little confused. I've got a shower cap and some shoes. What's happening? Okay, so all three things are actually together. So what we do is you take, you know, socks or makeup if you're a woman. You can put, or maybe, I don't know if you take makeup on when you're on a trip, but, you know. Sometimes. Yeah. Depending uh, on the trip. A little but powder. You stuff your, uh, your shoes with the socks or the makeup. Okay. And then what you do is you put your socks inside the uh, oh. inside the shower cap. And it keeps the, the, the shape of your shoes, too, when you have the socks in there. And also, if there's any dirt when you've been wearing them, it keeps them from your clothes, and you just go right inside. And the other great thing is, is that when you stay at a hotel, they always have shower caps there for you, That's so you right. can grab a couple. This is a nice $2 high-end shower cap that oh, I, I purchased tell. at London Quality. Drugs, but, you know. It's, it's a classy one. Yeah, I like this, the one, this one will last two or three trips. The, the hotel ones last one trip. Now, what's the longest trip that you've gone on with carry-on only? 18 days. Wow. Yeah, and the way I could do that was I packed for seven days. Okay. And then I did laundry at the halfway point. Right. So you have laundry in the hotel sometimes. Laundry the hotel. You Google and find a laundromat that allows you to do a drop-off service. Right, because I don't want to be doing my no, laundry on vacation. No, but no. I can drop it off. I don't want to be doing Perfect. my laundry anytime. <laughs> Unless they have really cute people in the laundromat. Like maybe it's a college town. And then you just want to hang out in the laundromat for a while. You might, you know. Good place to You meet might make people. a friend, you know. So many tips, Mark. Coffee so shops tips. or laundromats. Great There's dating. Lots of places to meet people. So we're going to wrap up pretty quick here. Let's talk. Uh, about the last bag, because you're allowed to have a uh, carry-on suitcase as well as a bit of a travel bag, a purse. Right. This is Bianca's. So this goes in your overhead. This goes between your feet in front of the seat in front of you. Now I sound like an air steward, you know. Um, and, <laughs> and where are the exits located? Uh, two in the front, two in the back, or uh, reverse, whatever. Um, so in your personal item, that is where I bring all my technology, camera, laptop, iPad, anything yeah, like that. Um, a book or a, you know an emergency pair of underwear, socks, things like that. Yeah. Because if your bag is too full or mm -hmm or if it's too heavy, or if the plane is really full, this might get taken off and checked. Right. And then if something happens, it gets lost, 
at least you've got your emergency personal item with everything in there. And plus, when you're sitting at your chair, anything you you know need while you're during the flight is between your feet, it's so you don't right have to there. get out. Mark, we love it. So wow. quickly, where are you going next? I'm off to Palm Springs, Palm Springs tomorrow, right. actually. With the glittery oh, outfit. Yeah, love with it. the glittery outfit. Yeah, the, the <laughs> silver onesie. Love awesome. It. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank, thank you. you so much. If you want to follow Mark on his next adventure, you can do so on his website, 30dayadventures.ca. Now, I'm going to try to convince him to let me go with him. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll take a quick break. I'm going to try and get in the suitcase, actually. Sure.